Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my fellow YouTubers. Um, it is, I don't know what time it is. It is, uh, well, it doesn't matter what time it is, right? So I just, well, I put the phone over there. Okay, cool. So one of the things I was going to talk about today is the stock market. That's right, Higgins emailed me earlier. He emailed me earlier, right? And he's like, oh my God, you know, uh, the stock market went down. He didn't say it in those words. It was like almost 698 points, right? And, uh, you know, people are saying it went down due to the economic wall links from Walmart. Yeah, I mean, that, that's what they're talking about, right? Well, there's an article here that I want to read you about Walmart. It says, Walmart had a strong holiday shopping season, but the year ahead will be more challenging for America's largest retailer. Walmart's forecast slower sales and profit go disappointing investors and in sending its stock during morning trading Tuesday. Walmart notched a 8.3 sales increase during its latest quarter at US stores open at least one at least one year. The company said Tuesday more with more consumers buying its private label or store brand labels and more income household shopping at its store. That's interesting, you know. Growth during the holiday was led by grocery sales, the company said. And shoppers bought essentials instead of gifts. Yeah. Government inflation data shows the grocery prices have increased 11.3% over the last year. And more shoppers are tuning to discount chains like Walmart, Target, um, the Dollar Store, Dollar General, and so forth. The Dollar 25 store now. And more shoppers, yeah, okay. Sales were slower for traditional holiday products like toys, electronics, and clothing. Sign that some consumers are cautious on discretionary spending. See, we did that discretionary, you know, the other day. Chris was telling me to go spend 200 bucks on a bed sheet set. I ain't paying 200 bucks for a bed set. It's great, you know. Um... Walmart announced that it will raise its minimum to 12 to 14 an hour as it tries to retain store workers in a tight labor market for lower wages industries. Home Depot on Tuesday also said it will spend $1 billion this year to raise wages and other compensation. Walmart raise will impact profits, squeezing margins at the same time as its core lower income shoppers continue to hit by inflation, which could dent its sales this year. Wow. Consumers are is very still pressured. Walmart uh, CFO. Uh, I mean, if you look at the economic indicators, balance sheets are running thinner and savings rates are declining relatively to previous periods, and that's why we take a pretty cautious outlook on the rest of the year. Retail sector as a whole faces more difficult period. Holiday sales were sluggish for many retailers, and the industry is expected to have a weaker 2023. Bankruptcies are piling up. Party City Tuesday morning mattress manufacturers Serta Simmons and independent pet partners at pet store retail have filed for bankruptcy in recent weeks. Think about it. Country's going bankrupt, people. Bed Bath & Beyond, Rite Aid, Joanne Fabric, and other chains are also on bankruptcy watch, according to the credit rating agency. These companies have struggled for years and are most vulnerable to challenging economic conditions. Yeah, so think about it. What's that tell you? That's where I come in to tell you guys keep on prepping, prep like your life depends on it because if you're not prepping like your life depends on it, then uh, you, you need to keep buying the essentials. This is why you guys need to know what's going on in the world. I thought this was real good news about prepping. So if you can't find canned goods because everyone bought out the generic brand, Walmart, Fred Meyer, Kroger, uh, Fry's, uh, Albertson, Safeway, and yada 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 down the list. Then you better get your other canned goods now because there is gonna there is a can shortage. Because like I said, just to get one can of gumbo is gonna cost me approximately five dollars a can, or or it's gonna cost me uh, two months of waiting for one can of gumbo. Think about it. I even went to Walmart and Target, and they said pick up only. So this is the start of it. They're cutting out their warehouses so you can pick up only. But I bet you they're going to start limiting everything that you can buy, too. So that's where I come in to tell you to keep on prepping. And prep like your life depends on it. Because you know what? You know, I may uh, poke Higgins the honey badger at times, but he's got a good point on one aspect. Okay, if there's a food you like, 
All right, a food you like, like hot dogs, right? And the hot dogs are supposed to be $12 hot dogs, and they're selling them for $5. You get the $12 hot dogs, stockpile them, and eat them. Now, a lot of people say, oh, processed meat's pretty bad for you. Yeah, well, if you're a Zoe, you got to poke fun at Zoe the duck on the fact that, you know, you can't have everything organic because when the crap hits the fan, you'll be glad to eat a bowl of rice and be happy when you have it because, frankly, it ain't getting any better. It's getting it worse. I've been trying to tell Chloe this, but you know what? I told Chloe, if there was a nuclear attack and the radiation's high, I'd throw her out the door and let her get radiated, then to just supply food for her because she didn't prep. This is how it's going to get. It's going to get desperate. You're going to have to save yourself. You're not going to have the time to, <laughs> to save her, you know. So she knows it. I mean, but the point is, is think about it for you preppers out there. You're going to have to prep for yourself. And, um, you know, I got stacks of rice and stacks of beans so that she won't touch. Thank God. So you guys need to think about that. Walmart. And other people are cost cutting. Uh, yeah. So tonight's topic is going to be um, consumers are cutting cutting spending even at Walmart to the basic essentials. This is why you got to prep now. Think about it. All you need is food, water, canned meat, and potassium iodine tablets. Anything else is a bonus. But if everything sells out. Then you got a problem. That's where I come in. So I want you to think about it, chew on it, and leave comments as nice as possible because, like Tildor, he leaves good comments. So think about that, everyone. I got to get going. So please add subscribe. Please post comments, leave feedback, suggestion, hit the like, subscribe buttons. It's uh, wholesome fun for your family, including your dogs, your cats, your bunnies, your service dogs, your service bunnies. Hit the bell notification, thumbs up button, subscribe button. Keep the comments nice, all we ask. Thank you. And God bless you and everything you do.